Hi there, I'm Matt Banihar, Pioneer Field Agronomist from Central Iowa, providing a quick update on harvest considerations for 2020. I'm going to talk mostly about the derecho impacted corn, but some of the stress uh, impacted uh, northern and, and southern Iowa this year with the early wet spring and, and the dry summer we had. So of the fields harvest so far, mid-September to late September, we still have a lot of corn to go, uh, but what has been harvested uh, and what's working as far as the down corn, the flat corn, some of the traditional Kelderman reels are working well at getting all the way to the tip of the header and pulling in those stalks uh, consistently, whereas some of the corn that's leaning uh, midway or, or willowed or uh, not quite flat, uh, some of the sweepers are working well in those. Uh, so you can drop them down when you need them and you can pull them back out when you don't need them uh, on the standing corn. So every field is obviously different and it's going to vary uh, depending on the type of damage you have. And that's going to change as you go because we do have some stock rots, some crown rots showing up, really degrading these plants and they're going to fall apart like they always do in some situations. But keep in mind that you may have to call an audible and uh, go to a field that has a little more stock rot in season uh, and change your plans. As far as ear rots, we're seeing variable ear rots out there. Um, you know. Keep in mind that uh, the mid-September rains probably uh, allowed some to progress a little bit more. Uh, and you know we're seeing some uh, fusarium, some scattered black uh, or white or pink kernels along ears. We've got some penicillium along the tips of the ears, uh, some dark kernels uh, for that disease. And then you've also got uh, to look out for the, the olive green corn ear rot, which would be aspergillus, and that's one tied to an aflatoxin. Um, so contact your insurance agent if you do see any ear rots, uh, whether it's a fusarium or, or an uh, aspergillus in the field. Uh, and then lastly, you know, we're seeing some, you know, sooty dust come from these combines. It's uh, saprophytic fungi, uh, set a lot of spores on those mid-September rains and, and allowed this corn to really uh, be black and, and dusty. And uh, keep that in mind as you're combining, you're going to see a, a black dust out there in some of these fields where those spores are pretty heavy. And combine settings, you're going to have some variable combine settings as well. You're going to have some, some big ears that are still leaning or standing, and then you're going to have some that shorten up and died early. Uh, be ready to make those common adjustments on the fly as you harvest uh, to make sure you've got good quality in the grain tank. And uh, if you've got any more questions on any of these topics, please contact us at Pioneer. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.